Pohla, Yahabash, Miyavashai, Bashim, Kakwidash, double honors to the apostles and the elders, great millstone for teaching us 100% truth according to the Bible. All right, double shalom taught Akim out there pushing the truth and truth in sincerity. All right, I just want to do a quick video, you know, just to warn our people, man, the ones of you Israelites, the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans who are indulging in this wicked pagan heathen custom called Christmas, hey, look, many of you will perish very soon, all right? The Lord never commanded us to observe Christmas as a holiday, okay? You won't find that anywhere in the scriptures, but you will find the Lord told us to, to not be involved in these type of customs, man, okay? And any, any customs contrary to the scriptures. So without further ado, I want to bring out Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. It says, Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. And house of Israel represents you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So this word is, is being spoken unto you through his servants, the prophets. Okay? Let's see what the Lord wants you to know. Verse 2, Thus saith the Lord, See, these are the Lord's words, not our words. Learn not the way of the heathen. Okay, these heathen nations who are not a part of our family. Okay, they, they promote death. They are involved in things contrary to the scriptures. Okay, we're not supposed to learn their ways. It says, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Okay. The sun, the moon, the stars. Okay. So lock you. We're not supposed to be dismayed at them. Okay. It says, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Verse 3. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cut of a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Okay. What is this beginning to sound like? We're cutting a tree down in the forest, you know. Hey, so far it's starting to sound like Christmas to me. Okay. It says, verse 4, they deck it with silver and with gold. Okay. Isn't that what they do today? The scriptures say there's nothing new under the sun. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. Until this day. The, the people, majority of these people are still involved in uh, a custom, which majority of our people, because we don't give a damn about these heathen nations. Okay, because it's evident that they're going to they're going to do what they do. That's why the scriptures say, hear the hear you the word which the Lord speak of to you, O house of Israel. OK, so going back to Jeremiah 10 and 4, it says they deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. Yeah, they, they, they fasten it in place in their house so it can be uh, prompted up, you know. It says, verse 5, they are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. Yeah, the, the tree don't speak. The tree ain't going, what, what the tree going to uh, tell you how it feel? You know, if it's uncomfortable, no, the tree don't speak. It'd be, why? Because it's powerless, man. It says they have... They must needs be born because they cannot go, but not afraid. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. Yeah, they, they don't do good or evil, man. They're just taking up space. OK, but I know at one point in time and, and, and even now you got some people who actually uh, worship the tree or they, they believe the tree brings good spirits or, you know, or or, or it could bring evil spirits. All right, well, that tree doesn't do any harm. It, it's not, it's not uh, uh, powerful, man. If anything, it's powerless, okay? It's just taking up space, man. And now, these, this is the custom of the heathen, that what majority of our people are, are what involved in, man, okay? Now, uh, you know, the scriptures say, uh, the Lord killeth and maketh alive, and you're going to see a lot of people die soon. When they hang these trees up, like Brother Wild likes to go into, you got a dry tree that you're putting hot, hot light bulbs on, which what is a formula or, or uh, yeah, basically a formula to 
setting your house on fire, man. But that's really ultimate of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Because what? Um, let me bring this. Let me bring this right quick. I want to hit this point. Isaiah twenty nine to six. Okay, it says. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and with great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. So the Lord does these things. He brings thunder and storms, earthquakes, great noise, storm and te tempest, and he also brings fire. So when you see somebody's house goes up in flames, just know the Lord did that. Okay, that's why the scriptures tell us to fear the Lord, man. Okay, so you can do the right, make the right choices, do the right thing. Okay, because fear is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom. Okay, I want to bring out this precept here because what's going to happen is when Jake can't pay their bills, okay, and, and they got to go out and try to make ends meet after celebrating Christmas, no, that's the judgment of the Lord. Or again, your house is on fire, okay, and, and you can't, and you can't, um, you can't escape it. And you 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 know you about to die on your way out, okay? Remember what the Lord is gonna tell you. The book of Judges, chapter ten, verse thirteen. Yet ye have forsaken me and serve other gods. Yeah, because when you when you're celebrating Christmas, you're basically serving uh, an idol, man. You're worshiping Nimrod, you know, or or, or Santa Claus. You know, so our people are forsaking how about Shemiah was shy for some some dead idols, man, some powerless, uh, no type of power whatsoever. Gods, man. OK, it says, wherefore, I will deliver you no more. OK, verse 14, go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Yeah, when your house is on fire. OK, or, or you know, you, you are facing a, a calamity, famine. Okay, or martial law, or any any type of calamity, the Lord, you know, can can put you uh, put submit you to to be under, man. All right, might catch a, a heart attack or get cancer. Okay, but the scriptures say go go and what it says forsake me and serve other gods. Wherefore I will deliver you no more. Verse fourteen, go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Yeah, go cry unto Santa Claus, the Savior, or or Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. OK, go, go cry unto those uh, gods to save you, man, in your times of calamity. You know, it says, let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. And that's tribulation coming. A lot of people going through tribulation now. People can't pay their rent, their mortgage, because why are they going out, waiting in line, uh, waiting in traffic, you know, having road rage, trying to meet the deadline to have presence wrapped up under a tree man what kind of what kind of tradition is that man there's no spiritual gain or profit from it except you, you your your pockets are empty man you know you're broke as hell after this wicked ass you know uh, uh, custom okay and and that's that's the mindset of our people majority of our people man that's why the lord got to put them down okay I want to bring out another precept here. The book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 5. Matter of fact, let me do Exodus 34 and 14. For thou shalt worship no other power or God, for the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous power. See how about Shemiah Rashad is a jealous power. He don't want us, you know, involving ourselves in customs that are contrary to what he commanded us to, to keep, to observe. We have our own high holy days, our true high holy days. Sabbath, okay, um, the Feast of Tabernacle, okay, Passover, you know, the Day of Atonement, you know. And that's, that's what we're supposed to be doing, which gives you a spiritual gain from doing these things, man. You come, clo you, you, you grow closer to your, your power, Yahweh, by Shemiah Vashai, you know. But with these heathen customs, there, there's no gain from it. Okay. Exodus 34 and 14. For thou shalt worship no other power, no other God. So like it. And this is a commandment right here. This ain't the Lord giving us an option. It says, for the Lord, whose name is Jealous, 
is a jealous power, and rightfully so. He's the one to provide for us, wakes us up in the morning, gives us many blessings beyond our imaginations of what we can even remember, man. Okay, or what we can even think of. Okay, so he has a right to be jealous. When he sees you uh, standing around drinking eggnog, singing Christmas carols, handing out presents, it pisses the Lord off, man. Okay, and that, that ultimately is, is what? A, a sin, man. Okay, let's see what First John chapter 3, verse 4 says. It says, Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is breaking the law. It's breaking the law when the Lord tells you, you Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the only ones that can sin, when you go against the commandments, you break the commandments by what? Celebrating Christmas, you're committing sin, okay? Now, when you sin, all right, this is what happens to you when you continue to willfully sin for you Israelites. It says, Romans 6 and 23, for the wages of sin is death. That's why through the Spirit, the title lesson is, many Israelites will perish for celebrating Christmas. Okay, because celebrating Christmas is actually a sin. Six, Romans 6 and 23, for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of Yahweh Shai is eternal life through Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord. Okay. It's like you. You know? So that, that's what it that's what it boils down to, man. You know, what what does the scripture say? Um uh, let me let me get that right quick. Let me get Acts 5 and 29. Okay, because you know, all you see on TV is promoting the promotion of uh of, of, of Christmas, man. Kids begging you to get them presents, being involved in the things of this world. Okay, there's no uh there's no spiritual gain from it, but it can get you put to death. Acts 5 and 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey the most high rather than man. Regardless of what the, what, what the hell man is talking about, man. Because what? Th this world promotes uh, a carnal mind. And the scriptures say, uh, to be carnally minded is enmity with the most high. To, to, you know, this world promotes pleasing the flesh, pleasing, being, having temporal uh, pleasures and, pl and, and pleasing your temporal pleasures. Okay, I should say. Okay, but we just read what, what um, Romans 6 and 23, for the wages of sin, meaning the penalty of sin is death. But the gift of Yahweh Shemel Shai is eternal life through Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord. Okay, I want to bring out a couple more. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8, it says, Beware, at least any man spoil you, spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Okay. Okay, because uh, celebrating Christmas is a vain deceit, man. Okay, it's a lie. It's an empty lie, man. Okay, uh, there's there's no such thing as Santa Claus for for you grown ass men and women who actually still teach your kids that there is a Santa Claus. Okay, a, a Edomite, a red man with a a beard wearing a um, a red suit going through chimneys, man. You know. Okay, so that's a vain deceit. It says, after the tradition of men. Okay, isn't that, isn't that what Christmas is? A tradition of men, which has been upheld since uh, the Babylonian Empire. Okay, it says, after tr the tradition of men, after the rudiments of, this, of the world, and not after Hamashiach. And when you celebrate Christmas, it pulls you further away from your creator. Okay, the one who, who provides you with all things and blesses you. The one who kill if and make of alive, the one that we're supposed to fear, that's truly what Christmas does. It pulls you further away from your power, your true and living power. Your howl by Hashem, your shy. Okay, so there you have it, man. Many Israelites will die for celebrating Christmas. Okay, you you will be marked. They take heed to the warning or perish and die through the power and spirit of Yahweh Hashem, your shy. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, your howl by Hashem, your shy. By Shemar Kakwadas, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who were well. Double Shalom to all the Akim out there, pushing the truth and truth in sincerity. Shalom.